Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another one of those speedrun type things, only this time I'm tackling something a little bit more difficult. Instead of doing I3, which I'm the most comfortable with, today I'm going to be doing DWM. Now, for those of you who don't know, DWM is a very good tiling window manager and it does a very good job. The problem that I'm going to experience today is that it has patches and patches can be notoriously interesting to install. Let's just put it that way. So here are a few of the rules that I'm going to you know, follow for this speed run. First, I'm going to do at least five patches. Uh, no pansy ass one patch only and then move on. I have to do at least five. The second one, and my second rule, is that I can't use anyone else's rices or dot files or anything. They have to be all done right here on the stream or right here on the video. I can't even use my own that I already have. I have to do all this from scratch, otherwise it's no fun. So, after the stopwatch starts, which you'll see down in the lower right-hand corner, there will be no editing of this video, so there will be no time skips, no speeding up or anything like that. So, uh, everything I do here will be in full time, and I will try to maintain a commentary as I go along, so you can kind of follow along if you want. So. Uh, other than those things that I just mentioned, I have no real plans. I only know for sure one patch that I'm going to use. I haven't decided the rest of them. And uh, I, I know that when uh, the, the game speedrunners on YouTube do this kind of thing, they always have a plan on how to beat the game the most efficient way. I'm not a planner <laughs> when it comes to these. I still haven't got to that point yet. So uh, we're just uh, flying by the seat of our pants, as they say. So... Uh, we're going to be doing this in Ubuntu, in a VM, and the reason why I'm doing it in a VM so it's easier for me to uh, reboot or log out and log back in if I need to, is just easier for me to record that way. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let me start the stopwatch here. Make sure it's appearing good on screen. So there we go. All right. So, the first thing we need to do is fire the instructions on how to install an Ubuntu because there is a bunch of dependencies here that I'm going to need. And I don't know what those are. I have a good idea of what they are, but I don't remember the package names. So, install DWM on Ubuntu. Here we go. And I do have a video on this, but I don't need the video. I just need the lines of code right here, This, which is right here. So, um, before anyone says anything, you can install DWM and D menu and stuff like that from the Ubuntu repositories, I believe. And some of that stuff is actually going to be here, which I'm not going to install because I'm going to install those from source. Uh, but I don't really prefer doing that. I want to do this all from source, the traditional way you would install the WM. So I'm going to go ahead and install these dependencies. And here we go. Now, while we're waiting for those, we'll go to suckless.org. Uh, I don't have the URLs for the, the Git packages memorized, so we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. I think I probably just passed it. Yeah, it's right here. So, now that that's in, we're going to cd into... Oops, cd into... Dot. Con this is going to take a lot longer if I can't get my fingers in the right positions. Like so, make directory, suckless, c suckless, and uh, clear that out and do, uh, I'm not sure, S sudo apt, oops, apt install git, because I'm going to need that. And I should have done vim as well. I'll do the same thing for vim, because I'm going to need vim. Okay. Technically, if I'd done that beforehand, I wouldn't have had to spend time doing it. But it doesn't matter. Get. Oh, I don't think. I actually think that. Yeah, right there. Okay. So there's DWM. We're gonna want. Uh, I believe technically we, we went and installed. Uh, ST was already installed with that thing that we copied, and D menu. But I'm going to install D menu by hand anyways. just because I prefer to do it that way. So, there's D menu. Now, 
theoretically we could go into DWM here do an LS here and make sure everything is proper which it is so we should be able to make yep sudo make install there we go now if we CD up into D menu we should be able to do the same thing make sudo make install yep that worked out fine now CD up a level here again now there's one thing that I need to do next and I need to do the the DWM dot desktop file which I don't have memorized so we're gonna have to go search for that um, uh, install DWM DWM how do I search for this desk X sessions file see if I can find yeah yep that'll work I, I know technically I'm breaking my own rule already of not using anybody else's but it's exact it, it'd be the exact same if I had it memorized which I don't so we're gonna um, sudo vim slash user share X sessions and then uh, DWM dot desktop and paste that get rid of that extra space save and quit this now theoretically I believe we should be able to we should be able to log out and log back in and get into DWM but I think it's going to fail but we're gonna try it anyways hopefully it won't fail uh, I believe I'm gonna end up having to edit the D the GDM configuration file in order to get this to work but we're gonna try it out so we're gonna close this we're gonna close this and we're going to uh, log out here log out log out and now we should have a DWM entry here which we do now if I'm right that I'm gonna have to edit that GDM file this will probably take me right back to the login screen oh, I didn't oh score okay now I I don't have it's obviously not going to give me a ST which is a disappointing so alt P or alt D neither one of those things oh wait a minute I forgot the alt alt is the super key so alt alt shift enter there we go okay good now this is ST so control shift page up should zoom in or control page up shift page up neither one of those things worked okay uh, not sure why why but it doesn't matter so sudo apt install kitty that'll be our terminal of uh, that's the terminal we'll use just be easier to do it use that than ST I'm not going to worry about customizing ST technically that could be a whole different video all right so that's done now let's do x render dash s 1920 by 1080 there we go now we're gonna CD in sorry about this not being big we're gonna uh, fix that here in a second config DWM, oh, suckless, DWM, us, remove config.h, now we're going to vim into, vim into config.def.h, we're going to go down here, we got a couple things we need to change, so first we need to change the mod mask here for the mod keys, change this to mod 4 mask, so that we use the proper super key, which is the super key. Uh, none of that alt nonsense. And then we need to change this one here from ST to Kitty. Uh, Kitty, okay. And then there's another one that we want, a couple more we want to change. So we want to change uh, the terminal from mod shift enter to just mod enter. I'm going to try to keep all these nice and thing and in order to do that we have to go down here to the zoom one here and change this into shift mask like so because otherwise we'd have duplicates okay and then also I want to do this mod shift C to change this one here to mod Q I think there's not a duplicate of that but I may be wrong oops Q, okay. I don't know. We're going to search for XK underscore Q. There should be two of them, right? That one and that one. That one, that one. Okay, that, was, that should work. Okay. Now, right quick here. Make 
sudo make install like so now I believe super shift Q or super Q super shift X oh, alt shift Q there we go now yeah there we go excellent and password again and there we go uh, entering the, that resolution every time is going to be a pain in the took us so I'm gonna fix that as soon as I get auto the auto start uh, patch installed but first super enter gets us into kitty so now x render dash s 1920 by 1080 like so there we go now I should be able to do zoom in. there we go awesome all right we're eight minutes in haven't done shit <laughs> technically DWM is installed uh, but I'm very slow I'm not a good speedrunner so now go here super Pete Firefox open up Firefox and go to suckless.org again now there are some patching things we need to do so patches and uh, let's see let's go ahead and pick out the patches we're gonna want now so one of the ones that we're gonna want is auto start so we're gonna want this one and we are gonna need the most recent version which is uh, 20 I believe it's this one here yeah okay so click that save as and uh, home shift H for show hidden files go back to suckless here into DWM make a directory called patches okay and then save okay so that's one patch the other one we want is restart so that's down here now technically I could do, could do this in my Xnet RC but I'm not using Xnet RC so we're gonna be doing this the little bit harder way so that's two so we're gonna shift save link as and um, that didn't save that in the right spot did it home this is suckless DWM patches yep, there we go save excellent okay so that's two let's see here we're also gonna want uh, vanity gaps why not that's always a pain in the rear end but I'm gonna do it anyways also this stuff override over shadowing that line is 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 poor design guys poor design okay so vanity gaps learn your alphabet mat there they are right here now this is always a pain at the tuck because you gotta remember which one you want and I think that I want the this one here it's just the regular mmm Maybe, maybe not. I can never remember which one is the proper one. I think it's this one. I think it'll work fine. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. So save link as. Uh, and again, it, it navigated me away from the place that I was before. Thank you very much. This is why no one likes the GTK file picker. Because it's garbage. Oops. And then I went to the wrong place. Because of course I did. There we go, and here again, here again, and then that's three. Okay, next, uh, attach bottom probably is a, is one that I usually use. So we'll take that one and uh, save link as, and then I'm gonna have to once again. This this is ridiculous. I hate, um, yeah, I hate this so much, so much. Okay, so we'll save that again. That's four, and then uh, we're gonna need status 2D if we're going to theme the bar at all. So we're going to need status 2D, which is down here. I should just search for this. It would be way easier. Status 2D right here. Okay, now, let's see here. So we, they don't have an updated version for the sys trait patch, but I don't need the sys trait. Sys, wait a minute. Yes, they do. It's right there in my face. It's in my face. I don't think I need sys uh, I don't think I need the sys trait patch. I'm just going to download the regular one. So we're going to do this again excellent I love this much so I'm probably missing an easier way to do this cause I'm just an idiot um, let's see here DWM patches there we go that's f that's five now I think status 2d is the color one right SL status is the other thing that we'll need so we're gonna need to go to here to tools SL status 
We're also going to need this. So go back here, cd into dot config suckless, and then paste that. All right, now cd into sl status and do make sudo make install. Okay, there we go. Now we're at 13 minutes in, and we've downloaded the patches. We haven't applied any of the patches. Um, and, and we still haven't chosen a theme yet. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do Dracula because I'm a lazy SOB, but uh, we will see about that when we get there. So uh, I, I'm I'm going to stop for patches now. I may find another patch that I need later on, but we're going to go ahead and uh, just call that good for now. So the best way I know to do this is do, to do the restart SIG one first. That way I don't have to log back out and log back in anymore. So I'm going to zoom in here and do uh, let's see, first we'll see into patches so I can see the list. Do less here. All right, now cd into dot config suckless dwm. Now remove config dot h. Okay, now what we're gonna do is patch dash p1, and then I believe it's that direction. I can never for the life of me remember which direction that's supposed to go, ever. I mean, I've learned it like multiple times, but I still can never remember which direction that's supposed to be. So we got to go here. we got to scroll down a little bit because it shows it. And I always miss it, so it's uh, that direction right there. Did I get it right? I did get it right. <laughs> Patches. And then restart. That's what it was called. It was DWM-restart, like so. And... There we go. Now, if we do make sudo make install, now we can close these and close this and do super shift and Q. And now we won't have to do this again, which means we won't have to change that resolution again, which is just, um, it's going to be so good. So X render, this should be the last time. I could fix it in the auto start file, which I may do, uh, but I shouldn't even have to. Okay, now we'll zoom in again. So cd.config suckless dwm. Okay, open up another one and do that again. I should be able to just. Uh, uh, nope, cd.config suckless uh, dwm uh, patches and zoom in so you guys can see. So do an ls here. Okay, now we're going to remove config.h. Now the first one that we have to do, I think the next one is going to be auto start. I think I can get away with auto start and attach bottom before I have to encounter any problems because the two that are going to be the biggest pains in the rear end, and they always are, are vanity gaps and status 2D because they do not like playing together. So those two, be, those two should be the only ones that fail. Uh, but we'll see. So we're going to do, um, we'll make sure we're in the right position here. And we're going to do patch dash P1 and then that direction. And then we're going to do DWM dash auto start. Oh, I did wrong. I, it's, in the, it's in the folder. Pat, uh, DWM dash auto start. Got to spell it right. There we go. And all of those succeeded, so now we should be able to do. Um, did I do a remove config.h? I didn't. I did. Excellent. So make sudo make install. Everything looks right. Fine there. Now, so now the restart combination here: super shift, super control shift, and Q. Now. We should be able to make an auto start file if we wanted to, but we're going to wait to do that here for a minute. So first, we're going to do some more patching. So we'll clear this. Oops, that's not the one that I wanted to clear. And we want to clear this. Now, the next one, patch-p1, that thing, and then the uh, patches directory. And then we're going to do dwm-attach bottom like so oh we have our first fail i was wrong about the failures okay so that's in dwmc dot reject so we're going to go here to a new tag zoom in again cd dot config uh, suckless 
DWM. Okay. Now doing ls here, we're going to do, get into vim into dwm.c.reject, like so. And uh, we need to delete one line and add another. So we're going to open, actually, eh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a split here. So we're, do a, do a uh, split into uh, dwm.c. Okay, and then we're going to search for attach and then C there must be more than one of these cmon equals mons attach C attach stack so the one that we need to remove is attach C so you control W down okay and then we'll yank this line control W up and uh, let's see here, P. I think I'll go to do P. Did I do that right? So we need to attach bottom right above attach stack. Like so. Oops. Like so. All right. I think that that is it. I've never had that fail before, to be honest with you. That must be a, a 6.4 thing. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we should be go back, go, be able to go back here and do uh, remove config.h and make sudo make install. There we go. Now we should be able to restart, which we can. We can uh, remove one of these. It doesn't really matter. It's probably this one. All right. Now if we do Let's see, just uh, sudo apt install neo fetch. Yeah, that attaches bottom, which is where it, the way I like it. Cool. Um, so, cool. All right, so that's that one. So the next one, we, so we've got restart, auto start, attach bottom. Now the two that are always going to be a pain in the rear end. I think vanity gaps has to go first. I think vanity gaps has to go first. I never remember which one has to go first because they do. There isn't a proper order here, and if I mess up, I'm screwed. So, to prevent myself from having to start completely over again and um, you know wasting the last 20 minutes, I'm going to cd up a level and cp dwm. Oops, cp r dwm into dwm dot backup. That way, just in case I mess this up, which is you know a good possibility, I can go back to this part here where I know it works, and you know try over again. So cd into dwm, like so. Remove config.h, like so. Now patch dash p1 that thing patches, and then dwm dash vanity gaps, like so. Look at all those failures. Those lovely, lovely failures. They're just, mm, gotta love all vanity gaps. It's just a pain in my ass every time. I'm like, why do you want gaps? Because it just hurts you so much. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have to, so we, so we got uh, in dwm.c and config.h. That one there I think is just going to be a blank line, but we're gonna find out. So. If I remember right, so we're going to go here, open up this, zoom in again, cd into dot config, dwm, oops, suckless, dwm, and then vim into dwm, dwm dot c dot reject. Okay, and we're going to do a split for dwm dot c. Okay, now we'll go up to the top. Okay, uh, let's see, control w down all right so the first one we need to do is we need to remove wait a minute this looks different than normal maybe it's the other one that i'm thinking of all right so we need to remove all of this stuff here and that's it so i think yeah that's it all right so we need to control w up we're going to search for dash tile monitor oh it's not dash man it's just tile monitor slash tile 
monitor and then star M right So it's un unsigned client C. Um, somebody asked me at one point when I was trying to teach them to do D DWM why I don't look at the the because it gives you the line numbers here, right? But the line numbers aren't always the same, and so you can see it's supposed to be sixteen seventy eight, which is the line number. We're actually on eighteen oh three, so the line numbers don't, don't do you any good. And the reason why they're different is because we've already patched stuff in. If this was the first patch you ever did, the line number should line up. So we're going to go into visual mode here and go all the way down to toggle bar, I think. I need to make sure. Yep. All the way up here to this here, and then we're just going to delete it. All right, now save and quit. And then uh, we'll get out of this. And now we should be able to go back here and do make sudo. Oh, we forgot one. Make install. That did work, but I think we forgot one, which we did. If we scroll back up here, we'll s we can see that I forgot the DWM or the config.def.h. So we'll go back here. Remove config.h. We're going to remed, do that against vim config.def.h. Reject. I think that this is just a blank line. Um, no, I completely none of none of the key bindings went in for some reason. That usually doesn't happen, but that's okay. So we'll do a split here and and do config.def.h like so. Now it goes. It doesn't really matter where you put these. I mean, it really doesn't. But I'll put them in the same spot as. It puts them in below zoom, so we're gonna go here. We'll open up a oops one here, and now we'll, we'll go into to the bottom here and go like this all the way down. Yank those, paste these, go into visual block mode, delete those. Now I think. That's everything. We can delete this extra line. So we can right quit that and then uh, get out of that. Now go back here and uh, clear that. I think I already removed config.h, which I did. We'll do make. Way fewer warnings than we did got last time. sudo make install. And then now we should be able to do a restart and we now have gaps. Voila. Et voila as they say. All right, cool. We can close some of these terminals. Uh, we don't, we still have, I want that one to stay up. That one there, that one can be closed. And um, that one stays and this one can be closed. Okay. Now, next is the last one. This one's going to fail too. This one's going to have some, fa some failure hunks. Okay, so in this one here, so patch dash. I found I figured out a couple more patches that I need to. I need move stack in here for sure, and warp and per tag. That damn. I wonder if I can get get by without those, but we'll see. All right, it's patch dash. We want patches. DWM dash status 2D. How many are gonna fail? Oh, that's not too bad. All right, we don't need this anymore, so we can see the up level. And go to uh, vim into vim into dwm dot c dot reject, yeah, like so. Ha! Exactly one line. That's easy. Split dwm dot c, and then we're going to search for uh, static. Um, care this one here. I believe all it changes is this here. So this number here is goes to ten twenty four, like so. I think that's it. And that is it. Excellent. And that was the only failure. And just make sure that it was the only failure, which it is. And now we should be able to then remove config.h, make, sudo make install. And I'm just going to go ahead and go get those other two patches that I, I know I want. Because um, if I don't, 
I'm just going to be upset with myself. So suckless.org, DWM, patches. Like so the other, the ones that I wanted um, were uh, warp. Actually, I don't need warp because I'm not on multiple monitors right now. So I don't need that. But per tag is definitely one. And uh, let's see. The most recent one is going to be this. we we'll save link as. And of course, it's not didn't remember the position because it never does. Pain in the rear end. Suckless DWM patches save. And the other one was move stack. What this one does here is it allows you to move the clients around, um, which you can't do by default. <laughs> I don't know why you can't do it by default, but you can't do it by default. It's really dumb. Um, this one here is probably going to, to fail because these are going to be in different positions, but that's okay. So make sure we're getting the right version. Save. Uh, save link as, Matt. Good lord. Uh, let's see here. Home. Config. Suckless. DWM. I should have just shaved this to bookmarks. That would have been way easier. Now he thinks of it. But, of course, when I'm done, so we'll go here, CD patches, so I can remember those names. Do an LS. And clear this one. So patch dash P1. This thing patches. Uh, let's see your DWM dash per tag. All those succeeded. Muy bien. Okay, very good. Um, went Spanish there for a second. Don't know why. Um, anyway, so we can do remove config.h, make, sudo make, install, like so, restart this, which is going to be a pain in the ass. We can move this to 2. Okay, and then we can do, uh, let's see, this, we can remove config.h again. And now we can do patch, oops, dash p1 and then do patches and dwm dash move stack like so fails i knew that was going to fail and and it's going to it's going to fail exactly where i said it was going to fail which is always good to see so we're going to go see up a level here we're going to vim into config.def.h.reject dot dot reject oops Oops, I did that wrong. I get it. And dot dot rage dot reject. I gotta remember I don't have my um, alias is here. So it failed here and it failed here. Okay, or maybe it failed there. So we're gonna close that and do a, a split into dwm dot oops config dot def dot h. Now. We need to, right before static keys, here, we need to do pound uh, include move stack dot c. Okay, very good. And then we need to yank these two here. D again, it doesn't really matter where, where we put these. Okay, so that apparently did not yank properly. Yank. Paste. There we go. Now, I think that those should properly be fine. I don't think that they're going to be duplicates, but we're going to find out. So we should now be able to do... Make sure I removed config.h, which I did. Make. Oh, suck. Why would they misspell that? Why would they misspell that? Vim into that again. Did I misspell that? Why did they misspell that? That's really weird, dude. That's a bug. Now, I think I need to remove, yeah, 
H again. Make. Still wrong. Oh, because they didn't capitalize those either. Good lord. Whoever did this patch is wow. Maybe there's a there maybe there's a um a way you can use all small letters. XK underscore J XK underscore K. Now make haha, <laughs> there we go. Pseudo make install. There we go. Now we should be able to do this. There we go. Cool. And now we should, if we wanted to, move shift. Yeah, there we go. We can move stacks. Good. We're only half an hour in. <laughs> We're done patching. That means we can start ricing. So, as we always do with a rice, we'll find a wallpaper first. So, we're gonna. in order to do that, we're going to need to do sudo apt install fe, like so. I'm doing a yes here. Now, we're also going to need to do, we're going to cd up a level and make a directory called .dwm in the home directory. And we're going to cd and do that, .dwm. And we're going to touch, or we're just going to vim into uh, auto start, auto start, .sh. We'll do a shebang here, type bin, slash bash. Now, I believe we'll do an SL status, and, okay, and then we'll also want to have, um, wait a minute, ah, we need to go find SL status again, SL status, you can browse the source code, I don't need to browse the source code, I need to, to, to the documentation for, for SL status, because it doesn't, I can't remember if it needs to be exec SL status or just SL status. I guess we're going to find out. I, if this doesn't work, I need to put an exec in there. Um, I, I can't remember because DWM blocks is the opposite of this one. So I can't remember. We're going to find out. So I uh, stop lollygag and move on to the next one. So we're also going to need to do uh, dot slash uh, fe, dot feb eg. EG. I believe that's what we need to do in order to restore uh, the. Why did I do dot slash, man? That's not what I needed. Um, I th well, I don't think I needed it. I don't know what I'm thinking there. Tilde slash. That's what I was looking for. Dot slash. I was thinking it was a script. Okay. I do know how to use Linux. I do know how to use Linux. Now, find that wallpaper. So. I think I am going to go ahead and be lazy and do the Dracula color scheme. So we need Dracula, uh, wallpaper, Ubuntu, go here, make sure that I find one that is appropriately sized. That's really way too big, but it will work, I suppose. <laughs> and that's an 8K wallpaper. I do not need an 8K wallpaper. That's also an 8K wallpaper. We'll just, I guess we'll just... Uh, Save image as in the... Why is it always putting me inside of run user 1000 doc? Is that a VM problem? Why not just put it in me in a regular folder somewhere? Home directory maybe. Okay, so if we do this, make sure we got this right. So CD into CD pictures. Like so. LS. Now if we do... Fa dash BG dash dash BG dash scale... I can never remember if it's dash dash or just dash. We're just gonna find out. <laughs> That's a little pixelated. That's great. Uh, obviously, I need to actually view the wallpaper. Thank you for that. I don't want all the wallpapers though. Just show me Ubuntu. Here we go. And then it links. You what kind of fuck? What kind of really stupid... What are you doing? <laughs> you're not linking to the wallpapers. You're linking to the... the, the... Okay. It's alright. Chill out, Matt. It's okay. Just view, link, view, image, and new tab. Let's see if it gives me the actual... No, it just, that was the view, link, and new tab. View, image, and new tab. Open, image, and new tab. There we go. And it just gives you the small one. That is... I'm
I'm regretting life, my life choices right now. No, I don't want to do that, Firefox. Leave me the hell alone. Um, this should not be that hard. <laughs> okay, we'll try this one. View image as. Open image a new tab. Is that No, it's still just a small S one. And if I click on that, it's just going to take me to this. So screw it. We'll just download the whole damn thing. <sighs> CD. He downloads ls unzip wallpaper there we go now we have all of these wallpapers here which is just exactly what we wanted to do so wallpaper master do an ls here we want the ubuntu one which is i mean that's all i ever needed <laughs> that's just so stupid so we're gonna cp ubuntu dash one into uh tilde slash pictures that's just that was the way it's where it needs to be like so oops so, fa dash bg dash dash bg dash scale, and then Ubuntu dash one. Did it work? It worked. Fantabulous. That was way more. I mean, what the, what even? It makes me regret choosing Dracula at this point. Cause that, I mean, what are you linking to down here? What 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 is the purpose of linking to the distro? It doesn't actually take you to the wallpaper it takes you to the the thing it's the what is the point of that that's that's dumb and i closed the website when i needed the website but that's okay i'll go back to it i'm just throwing a temper tantrum because i'm 40 minutes in and haven't even started raising it this is a speed run if, if you're a turtle <laughs> <coughs> excuse me if i was editing this that would get edited out but we're not editing this is raw okay What's next? We're going to need that website back. Dracula color scheme. Dracula color scheme palette. Spelled palette wrong. I knew I did. I did it on purpose. There we go. All right. Now, let's go ahead and cd into cd.config sucklist dwm less remove config.h. There we go. Now, vim into config def dot h, and we're oops. I do that every single time. Now we should be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Good stuff. Okay. Now we have all this stuff here. We got plenty of room so we can see everything. And uh, go back up to the top here, and we're going to change some space. Oh, we're going to need to install fonts. So we're going to do uh, nerd fonts. And then go here, uh, downloads, I'm going to go down here to, I mean, normally I use JetBrains Mono, I think I'm going to continue to use JetBrains Mono, if I can, oh, there it is right there, download that, um, it used to be I downloaded all the nerd fonts every time I did a rice like this, um, obviously that would take way too long for a speed run. Let's unzip. Let's see, sir. Make directory tilde slash dot fonts. Okay, now unzip. I think dash h is the thing that we're going to need to do. JetBrains mono into tilde slash dot fonts. I think that that'll work. No, that didn't work. Extract files to pipe no messages. What one of them was I'm looking for? Screw it, don't have time for this. Uh, unzip. We're just going to move um, JetBrains Mono into tilde slash dot fonts and we'll unzip it there. I don't have time to read things. But I have plenty of time to misspell everything. Now, there we go. Now we should be fine to do to use JetBrains Mono here. Should work. JetBrains Mono Nerd Font. We're gonna change this to um, eight. I like the little bit smaller first, and then the Dmenu one as well. So JetBrains Mono nerd font 
changes to also eight. Okay, now here's where we're going to get to start rising. So the background color is call gray one, call gray one, this one here. Okay, so and that should be this here. So we're going to change inside quotation marks, paste that. Okay, call gray two is going to be the border around everything for normal not selected so we want that to be let's just have that be white i think white will work so change inside parentheses or not those aren't parentheses I mean, those are quotation marks you knew what i mean cold gray three is for foreground of the normal selection. So this is going to be for the bar when nothing is selected. So I believe this is also going to be white. Oops. Went all the way to the wrong spot, Matt. There we go. There is a Vim key binding for jumping back to the last position, but I never remember what it is. I should know what it is, but I don't know what it is. So we're going to change inside this again, and call gray 4 is the foreground for selected. I think this is also going to be white. Um, I think... I think so. I, I may end up messing that up, but we're going to find out. So we also want, we want... The purple here is going to be the border of this and the background color of this. So change inside quotation marks paste that and now we should be able to save this make sudo make install and restart dwm and it's voila yeah that's good um i'm wondering if the foreground color for the selection should be dark hmm we can close this one here and we can remove config.h again and clear this and then into config oops did it again probably would have saved more time if i just went and created the alias like normal but why would you do that okay so what we wanted to change make sure this is big get this bigger again is the foreground for the selection so call gray four change inside that and then change this to uh, i think the back i think the this color here would actually work cancel what the hell there we go there we go right with that make sudo make install and restart dwm yeah that looks better Ooh, everything very good very very good okay so the next thing we're going to do we're going to save the bar for last because that's going to take the longest we're at 46 minutes already so we're going to go here to open up this thing here and do kitty uh, dracula config now Theoretically, I'm breaking my own rules by using this pre-made uh, thing, but I can't find myself to, you know, care. So, we're going to download the thing here. We got, got that. Now, we're going to cd into uh, cd downloads. So, unzip. Kitty Master, us here. So CD into Kitty Master. I think. Yeah. So we should be able to do CP. I think actually what I'm going to end up having to do is make a directory. Make directory. We're going to find out. Is there conf is there a Kitty one here already? there is there's nothing inside of it but what the hell so we're going to still try this and see if it works it did work okay i 
think before I do that, where's the default kitty configuration fi file? So, where is kitty default config? Kitty is a highly customizable blah 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 blah. Where's the configuration? So the default kitty looks for a configuration file in these places, comments. It doesn't tell me where the default one is though. I mean, I'm just skimming here. So where is the default configuration file? But you can pass a specific f option, use the blah, 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 but it doesn't. That's not helpful. Thank you for that, though. I really, truly appreciate that. Uh, the default configuration file is in user share. Installate kittens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's configuration? There we go. Right there. So CD CP slash user share doc kitty kitty dot conf into kitty dot conf here. There's no such file or directory. Did I misspell it? Share doc kitty example CD examples. It doesn't say examples there. Thank you, ArchWiki, for being you know wrong. CP kitty dot conf and tilde slash dot config kitty. There we go. Now we can go back here. Copy this again. Actually, I already have it there. Now, if we do open up this again, we should have, yeah, like there, haha, <laughs> cool, awesome. Anyway. Uh, cd.config kitty, vim, vim into kitty, kitty.conf, like so what we want to do is change the font size. Thank goodness it's not folding, so let me just make, make sure this is like 15, it should be good. Now, I don't think that actually changed anything. Probably changed the wrong thing. Font size? That should have been the right thing. Maybe it, maybe it did change it and it just is not as big of a difference as I thought it would be. All right, so there's the terminal. There's the wallpaper. There's the bar. The last part of the thing that we'll want to change, well, first, oops, not, that's, that's the one that I was looking for. This is not the, actually the last thing that I want to change, but uh, we will. Well, that was fascinating. I mean, that was like, I mean, you guys saw that, right? <laughs> I mean, that was really weird. Why did Firefox kill DWM? It was weird, right? Okay. And for whatever reason, it's not dot slash dot fade dot bg there we go and I did want I, I did not <laughs> yeah I did that right the first time Matt I should have kept it like so there we go that would have been good now go back here Firefox again and at least remembered everything um, about add-ons. See if it does it again. The fuck, <laughs> right? Am, am I right? <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> Apparently, it does not want you to. Also, it still doesn't remember the wallpaper. Slash fed up. Be Oops. 
I don't know why it's not remembering the CD dot DWM them auto start so spelled it correctly maybe maybe you don't need the dot slash I don't know um, dot tilde slash I don't actually remember it's been so long since I've done this doesn't matter we'll see if it I'm not changing the wallpaper or the theme for for Firefox. I've given up on that idea because obviously that doesn't want me to do that. That's really weird, man. It's like I've never seen Firefox kill an entire window manager before. Oops. There we go. It's really weird. Now. And that's awesome. I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, actually, you want to screw that. What we're just going to do is cd into dot config. No, wrong one. Deboot wm vim into config uh, auto start. There we go. And change this whole thing. Do fa dash dash bg dash scale and then tilde slash pictures slash cd pictures. What was the name of that? Ubuntu dash one. Ubuntu dash one dot PNG and then and now save this. Oops. Now still don't know why that's doing that, but uh, actually fuck this. Try that again. Still didn't do it. Not sure why. Okay. Either oh you wanna I know exactly why I'm a dumbass. Say with me ch mod plus x auto start dot sh. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, um, while we're while we're here vim auto start dot sh. We do this again x render. I'm not sure if this will actually work or not. I think to nineteen twenty by 1080 and I don't know I don't know if that's gonna work or not I think that I think you have to do something different but I've honestly never had to do this before now and it did work <laughs> that's awesome that's so good uh, <laughs> I'm very proud of myself when something works that I didn't know you know should work alright now last thing actually why did I why did I do that so CD dot config DWM oops Suckless SL status ls uh, remove config.h vim config. Oops, damn it, Matt. Okay, so we have some things here. So we need we have the time up there now. But we need to change the thing. So the argument is going to be i and then m and then percent p for now now let's see make make sure I did that right sudo make install kill all sl status spell it right and then restart there we go and that worked just fine all we did obviously I didn't do it completely right because why would we do that the first time So we actually need to put the, you know, things in here. So, like so, that'll work. Now, the next thing we want to do is add some more things to this. So, we will do, we're not going to do any of the CPU or memory stuff, because that stuff is different in a VM than it is in a uh, regular thing. So, I'd like to at least add one other thing. So it at least looks like I've you know tried. Uptime will work. So we should be able to do curly brackets, uptime, comma, percent 
S. It's been a long time since I've done um, SL status, so I'm gonna I'm completely. I think this is null, right? Oops, what did I what did I just do here? Null. There we go, like so, and then close the bracket and then a comma. If I did that right. I shouldn't get any errors. Make, we'll make, stall, kill all, SL status, there we go, and we now have, with no spacing whatsoever, the uptime. This is a fantastic fantastic speed run by the way I'm going on an hour <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do is remove h here we're almost done here vim into config.def.h and then figure out why there is no spacing between that and the time um, I don't know if I just put a space here if that would actually work or not I don't know if it will or not I don't think so I think I have to put like a 2s -S here somewhere think that's what I have to do actually make pseudo make sure I remove config h which I didn't h make pseudo make I may have actually done so and I just done the make and the make so it would have been there anyways now kill all sl status so yeah there we go now um, theoretically I should put some icons there I really should put some icons there and make some colors but damn I'm at an hour <laughs> this was not so much a speed run as a holy crap you're really slow run okay the challenge here is like maybe in like a, like six months or so I'll come back and do this again and see if I'm any faster. I'm not going to be any faster though because theoretically I'm doing this. It's really hard to do this and talk at the same time. I'm just putting this out there. If I'd done this without talk, blame it on that, Matt, and not you being a dumbass. Okay, so um, Firefox. We're gonna go for nerd fonts. Nerd fonts. Let's see. Firefox kills DWM again. Uh, let's see, we're going to go for icons. Now, uh, clock. This one here will be fine. Now, remove config.h, then into... I think the best way to do this is actually to make a script. So sudo slash vim slash user local bin oops and then clock dot cl icon dot sh and then just do pound bin slash bash echo Uh, that didn't show up the right thing because I'm not using the right font, but that's okay. It should work. So, chmod sudo chmod plus x slash user local bin cl icon dot sh. Now, what we would do then is the proper one here is run underscore command. So, Quickly bracket run underscore command comma percent s I think I need I need that I'm not actually sure comma and then for the for that one I need command hmm. oh I wonder if that would work or not let's go find let's find out does it need command echo foo Echo, and then 
paste that and then brackets and then period or comma there's no way that runs right we're gonna find out oops let's make sure uh, make I didn't think so <laughs> I, I didn't think so um I didn't think so. So I don't know if I. Is it. Like I'm not actually sure how to do that. I've forgotten. Hmm. I've forgotten. Well, let's see here. Command, run command, command, SL status. That's not even close to what, I mean, that's not, no. No. Actually, Google giving me what I want would be nice. Haven't figured out how to do colors in SL status, but do, are you using scripts? Maybe you are. Technically cheating here. This guy doesn't have dots anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <sighs> wow, Google, you you are a complete and utter failure. Run command in, independently updating commands in SL status. How are you supposed to run SL status? How do you get SL status functioning in Void Linux? Best way to make SL status responsive to volume key changes. Um, this is not. Uh, so I just need an example. That's what I need. It is is an example. Bar functions. No, that's not working. That's not gonna work. Go back. That's not that's not help. That's not helpful. Thank you for that. Um maybe we won't be doing icons because I'm an idiot. I've done it in mine. Yeah, you wanna know what? I'm cheating. I'm cheating because I I'm I So sue me. I can't help it. I, I, I'm going to go into this and then see how it's done and think, God, Matt, you're so stupid. You should have remembered how to do that. Uh, it's not the right one. Mine's in themes. Themes. It doesn't really matter which one of these I do here. Run underscore command. And then it's just in, in, in quotation marks. It's just in quotation marks. I knew that. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay. Okay, it's just in quotation marks. So what we what we call that thing? S C L icon dot S H. And then this, and it's not even in the right position, by the way. So we're gonna need to first now we should be able to do this. And there should be an icon up there, which there is, but it keeps ending. Well, I mean, if we cheated once, we might as well go cheat back and cheat again. Shall, shall we? Why not? Scripts. Go down here to CPU icon. That's literally all that's there. So it should, it should, that should work. Why is it, why does it keep going away then? I don't know, I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know why it's doing that.
I don't want to don't want to you know admit defeat with the icons it has something to do text to show if no value can be retrieved no 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 it's, it keeps basically it keeps I don't know what it's even doing it has something to do with update interval, though. Date time. Is it possible it's because of these ex extra spaces? I don't think so. What could possibly be the thing that's doing that? Why is it? Why does the clock keep, keep switching places? Not sure why it's doing that. And if I had time, I would fix it, but I just. Uh, this video has gone on for way, way too long as is, and I'm not editing it or speeding it up. So if y'all watch this till the hour long mark, you guys are just. I mean, seriously, you're awesome. I doubt there's anybody still watching. If you're still watching, say hello in the comments. I, you know, just howdy. Uh, let me know how your holidays are going. Because uh, obviously this was a complete failure. <laughs> for uh, Mostly, it was a complete failure. <laughs> We're just going to stop that right, right here. I think that that's it. So, uh, one hour, nine minutes, 54 seconds. And that's it. Yeah, that's 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 where we're going to stop. I don't know what's going on with the bar. I, it has been so long since I've used DWM that I don't remember anything. And that was part of the challenge of this. Uh, and the reason why I said, hey, Matt, you're not supposed to use with the thing that you're supposed to use now. So if I'm going to go back while I'm here and off the clock, I'm not counting any of this. So, so we're done. I just want to go back to uh, we'll go back here. And go back to the suckless utils. These are my suckless stuff. SL status. And go into themes. And then just Dracula. So what what's different here than what I had? So these are just these are just the components. Other than the, the colors, which I didn't get to. There's nothing else that's different, as far as I can tell. So, that means that whatever's different has to be in the standard config.h here. But that looks exactly the same. Maximum output is string length. That's... Did that, is that the cd.config suckless sl status config.update? Uh, yeah, damn it. I don't care, just edit anyways, bro. No, that's also that's exactly the same as mine, so there's nothing different there. So I don't know why that's doing that. Um, if you know why you're doing why that's doing that and you're actually still watching this, um, and, and you happen to know, leave it in the comment section below. I'm sure the, the solution there is really easy. I just don't remember because I'm sure I've seen it do that before. I just don't remember how to fix it. Um, it's like it's killing the icon over and over again. Maybe it's just a function of the way Bash works, maybe. But then why didn't why does it work on my regular bar? I don't know. Alright, anyway, so that's it for this video. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so very much. I truly do appreciate it. Before I go, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. Uh, you guys are all amazing. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can. Patreon.com slash Linuxcast. Everybody who does support me is just an amazing person. You guys are all just fantastic. Without you, the channels would just not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. Truly do appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who's watched it. If you've watched all the way to the end, I mean, seriously, kudos for you. Um, I don't. It's been a long time since I've done an hour-long video. I'm just going to put that out there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.